Well lads, welcome to a new video. In this video, what I've done is I've gathered a hundred sims here and I've slapped them into this big old household here. I mean, like, look at the absolute size of this place. Now you might be wondering what we're doing in this video. And basically what we're gonna be doing is I've managed to gather all these people down here and I've managed to slap them in this giant mansion. Now you might be thinking, oh my God, Bosch, you're, you must be doing a great thing for these people. They're going to enjoy their life finally, even after the last uh, hundred sim game. No, absolutely not. Who the fuck do you think I am? Who do you generally genuinely think I am. In this house, we're going to be basically removing all the toilets. We're going to make every man want to piss and all that type of stuff. And you are all going to die from embarrassment. Surprisingly, in the last one where we did 100 sims, we had an embarrassment household, which surprisingly no one died of embarrassment. Again, we do have the exact same 100 sims back in this log again, including fan favorites like Darren or Dr. Doofenshmirtz and our winner from the last game, Max. Of course, he's the second want to try and get into this house. Wait, why are they all thinking of like this jukebox thing? Why are you all so interested? Right, so I think that we should probably start off the video by, you know, getting rid of the thing we're trying to get rid of. I think what we should be doing is we should add a dance floor to all of these bathrooms so everybody can boogie. We're just gonna add cardboard because I'm not, it's, it's too much of a commitment to give them anything else. Pubs. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Yes, right there. So people can dance right on top of you. Oh, they, they have a golden tub. Absolutely not. Get rid of that. We're not letting them live in luxury this time. There you go, we get a nice wooden raft. We should add like a little violin here so, you know, people are really, really bad at it, then they can, you know, stay bad at it then and they get embarrassed and kill themselves right on this floor. Right, we're gonna also have a man telling shitty jokes in front of an entire crowd once again. It'd be like a little concert in the hall, but instead of everyone laughing at the jokes, they're gonna look at all, get second on embarrassment, all die right there. You know what I've just realized as well? There's no pool in this house and that's kind of awful in my eyes. Here, I have an idea. It's a decent enough size. Well, I think we should just expand it. All right, everyone, make a grand entrance into the house. Come on in. Yep, my, hmm. Max is already smelling the air, making sure it's okay enough. And this man's just gonna stand here, I guess, then. Did you all really just come in here to stare at this one thing? Like, what is so interesting that all of you people came to stare at this? Oh, God, Andy, please put it down, lad. Oh, please, you're disturbing this poor woman. Look at her. So as they're all enjoying that now, oh my God, there's still people out here. Get inside, people. Come on. Bill Overbeck, I beg you get inside, lad. I'd give him about a solid day for everything goes awful, because that's what happened in the other one. Everyone was completely grand. I mean, we did have that one man. Or Chad. Chad will be remembered in vain. Ah, there they all go. They're all jamming to the classical beats in here. Right, why is everybody so... Oh my god, why is everyone in here? Look, even Big Smoke's over there again. Yeah, yeah, bust a move, woman. Yeah. White Fairfield has also decided to enter the room, and he's just kind of chilling in the middle here. Yeah, bust a move, man. Look at all these people bust. Oh my god, you are busting it down. God damn. Oh, it's a shame to think that all these people are going to die later today. Oh, look at this very intense chess game between Claudette Morel as against Lydia Hurd. All right, it's very intense right now. Oh my god, this is such an intense chess game. Right, okay, Claudette, you really didn't have to do that just because you lost. All right, it seems like most of the people have decided to enter this one little room here. They all seem to be dancing. Oh my god, he's still, he's still doing this. Stop it, man. I mean, this woman seems to be enjoying it. Like, she's jamming out right now. Oh, Big Smoke, how are you doing in here, man? Checking out this woman's emails, you dirty man. You don't need to be doing that. All right, let's check down in this gorgeous place down here. Well, if you look down here, this seems, they've all seemed to be watching a movie down here. Well, Adam West, how are you doing down here in the cinema? Are you just watching whatever this is? Just watching subtitles? Are you, are you enjoying the subtitles? Hey, Lum has decided to chill in the pool. And there's Franklin Clinton has also decided to make himself a cheese toasty and is just chilling by the pool. Right, it just seems to be that everybody has decided to chill in this one area, which is completely ruining my frames, which is just great. I never knew this would be the biggest thing in this house. A random little jukebox in the corner that plays classical music that this woman just seems to be getting into. God damn. I mean, there are some people in the kitchen over here. Sir, please, please uh, patch up them little nips you have there, sir. Oh, Mark is in the kitchen. Mr. Mark Ikawanami has said it enter the kitchen. Oh, there's Ryan decided to stalk a conversation that he's not a part of. Oh, this is the guy that died last game first. And he's just here chilling in the kitchen. Remember not to die, good man. He's having such an intense, an intense staring competition with this woman. Please leave my family alone, Chad. Please, you don't need to do this. I'm going to eat your family, man. I'm going to eat your family. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, there's Renegade Lact entering the kitchen. What 
what a fucking surprise. Phineas has decided to hop on the piano. Well, I'll drop the sickest beat ever. Are you just gonna sit there on a chair the entire time? Oh, bust a move. Damn. Oh, Tai Lum has decided to sit on the thing instead because it seems to be better. Oh, there's Dearmit in the pool. Why is everybody assisting this man in the pool? Oh, there's Michael chilling on the little pool floaty. This is a very uh, weird sighting of seeing Mark just in here all by himself staring at absolutely nothing. Oh, well, there's Chad again coming over to the pool to drift off into the will. Oh, and he's decided to take off everything and jump it. Okay, then. Oh, uh, here's Dwight Fairfield staring directly into this poor man's eyes as he sleeps. What are you thinking of doing, Dwight? Carter Peterschmidt and Phineas have decided to cuddle up, uh, apparently, on this bed. <laughs> All right, the crowd seems to be still big down here. Today's match seems to be Barack Obama versus whoever this is. Oh, well, there's Mr. Iglanova back at it again, awake this time, surprisingly. And he's just kind of drifting off into the middle of the abyss. Here's Mort Goldman staring off into the outside world, thinking of what it could have been, but instead he's spending his entire life in a luxury mansion, pissing himself right next to the sink. All right, the good thing is everyone's starting to take baths and stuff. I mean, to counter it, but... Oh, and Phineas has decided to clean up his brother's piss. Good man. Why are you all just chilling outside? Right, look at this. You all chunky people entering the kitchen here now. You are all gonna die of starvation, I swear. Oh, Michael, you're out of the floating. Finally, that took you the entire game. Oh, and there's Thomas in here as well. Big smoke again. Oh, and is that Mark? That is Mark in here, snipping the shit out of big smoke. It seems like everyone's just starting to sleep now. Mark has decided to take place on this nice couch in here next to the warm fire. Good man, Mark. You've chosen a decent location with these two, three people watching you. And this woman is staring out the window, begging for mercy. Ah, Mr. Unlawful Moose has decided to join Perry the Platypus in the eternal pool of piss. Dermot is sleeping on the couch. He's having a wee snooze to himself next to the big puddle of pee. Oh my god! Everyone's just upstairs! Who's this? Jonesy from Fortnite. What is this? Why are you all watching this man sleep? Do you just have nothing better to do with your lives? Oh my god, no! I've just loaded back and Donald Trump's decided to just drown on me. This is our first death of the video. There it is. Mark has decided to go for a nice wee bath. You know, he's actually doing really well this game. Part of the fact that he has no energy and no hygiene. But other than that, he's doing very, very well. Everyone seems to be dead in here. Is this Thomas? Thomas is heartbroken. Wow. Oh, look what's kicking in. Feeling focused. Very focused, are you? What are you focused on, you and your two nose rings? Looking at Mark's ass for you. That's what you're focused on, are you? Mmm, mm, look at this guy down here. Look at how focused he looks. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, he's still kind of over there while I'm kind of like looking over here. Has the Grim Reaver done nothing about this? Oh, here's Unlawful Moose standing right here naked. And Max has decided to come and stare at you right now in this gorgeous costume you have, Mr. Unlawful Moose. Oh, shit. Mayor Adam West is coming in for a closer look. Right, so we're just going to add a toilet at the end of this here. And we're going to add a nice door. So anybody who enters this door, the first person who enters this door, I'm closing it behind them. And they're just going to stay in there the rest of the game. So who's going to take the bait? Who's going to take the bait? Oh, here they all come. Oh, Michael, no. Michael, no. Michael, why? All right, there's Michael just chilling over there and then we just need to add a bunch of lovely couches little viewing area everybody wants to see michael die there we go go. There's the Michael viewing point. Ah, uh, there's everyone running over now to the viewing area to see Michael's death. Everyone crowd around, including Mark himself. That's right, Mark. You go over there and just view him. Oh, there's the everything pro just chilling in this room again. Oh, and there he goes for a little bit of a snap. Okay, well, well then. I'm sorry to break it to you, Belgi, but I'm pretty sure of these people would rather starve and eat that fucking salad. Oh, there's Thomas hanging out with all his friends, just chilling around here. Why are you advertising salt? Stop advertising salt, Thomas. A lawful moose had a eureka moment being a genius just gave him the boost. Oh my god, good man, eureka. Good man, <laughs> sitting on the tub having this absolutely amazing moment. I remember I made a little joke about you, you know, it's very Angela Pleasant, isn't it? But I'm gonna have to be real with you. This doesn't look like a very Angela Pleasant place to be. I really cannot lie to you. How did you make it in here? Oh my god, there's a fire. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, how did this happen? Oh my god, why are you all running towards it? Oh shit, it's starting back up again. Somebody put it out quick. Stop waving at it. It's not your friend. 
Oh my god, is no one gonna put it out? Are you still just gonna run towards it and die? Are we really- Oh my god! Why are you still running in here? Why? What is so entertaining about this fire? Look at them all running in. Why? Okay, right. Well, there seems to be a fire in here, so 100 people decided to just crowd around it and look at it. Oh my god, he's all just- Stop it! This man's got a nice rack, by the way. Dr. Diffensperse, you gonna do anything about this? Oh my god, there's no fucking way it's happening again. Oh, look at these smart people over there. Oh my god, oh, Thomas is getting stuck behind the bowling balls. Yes, get out of there, Thomas. And there's Darren spectating once more. Darren, what is your deal with getting so close to the fire to the point that you can see it, but not do shit about it? Oh my god, he's actually on fire. Oh, and he is getting out of here. Oh, there seems to be a very intense lovemaking session going on in this corner. Whenever you look in the distance and there just seems to be a bit of a fire going on with that man on fire. Oh, fuck, Perry, no! Why did you die of starvation? There's a fire right here, and this woman is having a splendid time staring directly at it. Oh my god, he's coming here to take you, Nico Belli. Right, is no one going to escape, or what's the story here? Yep, come on, get out of there, the everything pro, good man. Yep. Oh my god, Candace, you silly goose. How did you- Oh my god. Oh, Nico Bella has set a fall over too. Right, are you people gonna do anything, or are you just all gonna watch again? Here's Darren having an amazing time just watching his friend next to him die. Oh, this poor man. Michael, it really does feel good knowing that you're in a, in a good situation with your one toilet. The good thing is you won't die of that. But the problem is now you kind of are near that over there. The entire crowd of people all dying of a fire and stuff and nobody doing anything about it. Yeah, look, he's only got six more hours, but that probably should be a better time than half of these people do over here. Oh, and Colin May says to set it and die. That's, oh, that's, that's depressing. Darren. Darren, you are somehow still not on fire, good man. Oh, you go, Chad. You go. No one's helping. He's all just gonna let these people die? Are none of you gonna put this out? Oh my god, Mark's on fire, no! Oh, now Chad's on fire. Are you serious? Thomas, are you gonna do anything about this fire? Or are you just gonna stare at the world like this? Thomas, please, I beg you! You are standing in it! Oh, no, he's only realized! Everybody's on fire! Why is, why is this always happening in my game place? Oh, Phidias, why did you drop dead, you idiot? Right, is nobody actually gonna extinguish this? You just all gonna watch? Mark, no, right next to Unlawful Moose's sleeping body. And Darren, ooh. Oh, and there's the Everything Pro enjoying his last moments of life before he succumbs to the death. And this person, oh, okay, then I guess the Grim Reaper just gonna chill up there then and do nothing about it. Thomas, I'm actually very happy about this. You actually managed to escape. You might be a bit charred to the skin, but at least you escaped. Oh, and Chad is about to die again. Put it out, damn. Oh, Thomas, you sexy man. Thomas is gonna go right into this shit. He's gonna get rid of this entire thing. Taking on this fire by yourself. And you didn't even put it out. Oh my god, it's gone. Thomas, you're a hero. Good man. Oh, everybody's starving. Oh my god. Dear Mrs. said it acquired the cookie lesson. Good man, dear Miss. You're a smart cookie. Oh, no, Angela. Oh, shit. John F. Kennedy. No, not again. Oh, and right in the kitchen, too. Dear me, you hog that shit. Oh, Jamal Templeton. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop dying. Oh, big smoke. No. Oh, Lydia Hurd fell over by Claude Speed. Where? And how are you all dying? Oh, Javon Aguilera is decided to die. Oh, my God. Angela Pleasant is decided to die. Oh, Ryan died. No, stop dying. No, Michael died. Darren decided to die. Oh my God. Oh my God, stop it. Brent, oh my God, our winner from the last game decided to keel over in this man's crotch. Oh my God, the Everything Pro died. Barack Obama died right next to the fire. And also, oh my God, stop it. Oh, and uh, another person died in the kitchen. Right, it's going to get to the point when you people keep dying in the kitchen and you're all going to get in the way of the stoves and all that type of stuff. It's going to be like a game of parkour just trying to get over it. Oh, there's Mark upstairs crying. You grew a damn <laughs> Abraham Lincoln beard. What the hell? Okay, well, I guess you should all crying over Jake then because Ryan's getting no attention over here. It's okay because Thomas is somehow still living down here. Oh, Thomas, I was just saying how you weren't gonna die. Oh, oh there. Oh, Thomas. Oh, well, there's Unlawful Moose going for his evening snack, is he? Oh, Dearman has decided to die. 
Oh, Glenn Quagmire, no! Do you people not know how to eat or something? Because you're literally in the kitchen where there's food and there's a gorgeous fruits there. All the highest technology food. And you all die of starvation. For, for God's sake, right in front of the clock. Oh my God, you know what I've just realized? This poor man is stuck in this room. Oh my God, no! No! Renegade legs! Oh, this is so sad. He was third last time. Now he's 24th, for God's sake. Oh my god damn it! Unlawful boost is dead at 20th. Great. 18 sims remain and half of them are in this one room mourning the death of Aaron. Yep, that's right. Turn your backs on Unlawful Moose. This woman was so much more important than he was. No! Dwight Fairfield! Why did you have to Oh my out of the entire thing. Oh 10. Oh Adam West, why? Right, well 10 sims left and this woman's decided to start crying as soon as this guy. Well the good thing is these people down here seem to be having a terrific time conversating and all that type of stuff. There's out of everybody here, there's only one man who doesn't have a single bit of contact with anyone. And it's Eric LaChapo, who's the entire time has just decided to sleep it out. Oh my god. Barbara, nine sims left, for god's sake. Oh my god, there's no way Tom Tucker. Oh, well, I guess there's just two of you down here. Alex Moyer and Joe Swanson. Oh my god, no! Eric LaChapa! Where did he go? Wait, where did he die? Well, whatever happened to him, I guess he's dead then. The only people seem to be left is Joe Swanson, Alex Moyer, headhunter from Fortnite, and Noah Gast. Damn, she fu- No! Joe Swanson! What the fuck? He just disappeared! Oh my god, she died! There's two sims left! Holy shit! Noah Gass is getting up to inspect! The only people left is Noah Gass! Or Alex Moyer! Oh my god! Noah Gass! No! Oh my god. Well, since Noah Gass is dead, that only means one thing. You're a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Moyer is some random woman who just so happens to never starve. Good on you, you managed to survive this entire game. If you did enjoy this video and you do want to see Alex Moyer completely discriminate against an entire race of 100 people and win, please do consider subscribing. And I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks so much and goodbye.